using the new face thing I've got. And I thought, no, I have to post a parcel first. But are you like me? To go and do casual takes you about three hours. It's ridiculous. Why can't I just go out looking scruffy? I've got my casual clothes on, but it also took me ages. Why couldn't I just run to the post office and go to the country search shop? But I guess, so I will be back in a minute, but I can't believe, I just wonder, is anybody else like me? Why can't we just go out and, but no, I found my casual clothes, but I had to put, do my hair, put my lipstick on, and then I'm only going yards up the road to post the parcel, put some charity shop stuff in, uh, to cancer research, and that's it. I'll be back. <laughs> See you soon. Hi, I wasn't gonna video, um, I was gonna do it later, but something just came on TV, and I thought, oh, I'll do it now, and I've got a cleanse while I'm doing this. I'm safe, I've run out of my posh stuff. Um, look, forgive my eyes. I went out to a barbecue on Saturday, which was amazing. We started about three, I didn't leave till 10, and that amount of alcohol is not good for you. I didn't drink that much, I have to tell you. I'm not allowed to drink, but I had so much uh, lemonade and stuff with it. But I feel a bit worse for wear and I didn't take my makeup off. So I'm having to have a deep cleanse. Um, but what I'm coming here to say, I didn't mean you to see this, so I will do one later, was that I was just watching Lorraine on TV and Syria McKellen came on. I don't know if you know him as a Shakespearean actor, but when I had a, a little bar in Cyprus, he came in and he had a good friend that lived right near our bar. and. Uh, he bought my fish cakes I made and he said they were the best fish cakes he ever had and I, I tell everybody that well someone will remember it but I thought I might not remember to tell you so I thought well, while I'm cleansing I will show you I've just put on Sarah Chapman overnight facial of my daughter's thinking what are you doing but when my face feels like I put this on it's really meant to be put on other than night it's amazing it's not an advert it's, I use it anyway um, but when I feel like, my, oh, look at my face, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, so what I do is uh, put it on and I will redo it later. But I just thought I had to tell you that because I won't remember to tell you. But no, he said twice he had them. He said they were the best fish cakes he'd ever had. So one day I'll give you the recipe. I don't make them now for me and my partner. I can't be bothered, I'm going to be honest. I can buy a nice one from Marks and Spencer's. But when you have to make them for a restaurant, um, obviously, you just can't get them in Northern Cyprus. But that's it for now, but I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Um, every time I say I'm going to do something, if the train's gone on strike or, oh, I don't know, I'm just having a nightmare. Um, I'm just going out to town and I wanted to let you see me do my balcony. But then it started to rain. It's that's awful for everybody. I mean, can't know me what's happening in Greece and everything else like that. So... Here I am, going off to London. I've got all these plans of things to do, and it just seems to be everything I do. And I had loads of plans for the weekend to get the train up to London. And now, you know, I thought I could do some film at the same time, but I basically got to go up there for work. But um, I'm enjoying doing this, but I don't want to bore you because my life isn't that exciting. While I was showing you things, it was, and where I go to, uh, where I go to see people, but. You've seen all those places and I don't want to bore you. So I'm going to keep on. Um, when I get back this afternoon, um, I'm going to show you my ivy. I'm attempting to put it up, but my son said I need some sort of wire. I was going to try and get some fishing net. But to be honest, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But there's still a big box of ivy is littering up the place. And I've got loads of bits and pieces. But... It's been raining, hasn't it? It's just out against the dead. I think I think it might be an omen, me telling me not to do this, because I can't believe how many things keep going wrong. And every time I think oh, I'll do a bit of filming, I have to go somewhere. So I try and I can't keep taking you to the same places. Although I suppose nobody's got the most exciting life. But where I go to do my Reiki, it's obviously the same places. <laughs> I don't know how many times I showed Chelsea, which I spend a majority of my time, but. I'll carry on and uh, hopefully I'll see you this afternoon, but nice to see you. Bye. I thought I'd show you before I start because to see that I made a difference. <laughs> so my little pictures and my mirrors. I know 
it's my little balcony. In London, you're lucky to get a balcony, so I can't mind. I wish it was bigger, but the area I live in is quite nice, and it's got the heath around the corners, but it's my little space. I've got a little lemon tree there, but what you're seeing now, it's not going to look like this. I just thought I'd show you. Plants. It's funny, years ago I had a massive garden, never appreciated it, and I'm, I lived in Cyprus and I had a swimming pool as well, but you take it all for granted, but I love my little space, I, you know, I don't think I could handle a house now, you know, I couldn't afford a house where I live now, the area I, I'm in, but um, so I'm grateful for a bit of open space and poor people haven't got anything, so this is my little, my little hamlet, but I'm trying to <laughs> improve it. I think I've shown you before my fake lemon tree. <laughs> so I'm going to have fake grapes and I've got a little, I did have an orange tree and a lime tree and I've got a lemon bush here. I don't know if you can see, there is a, a lemon tie. Can you look that down a little? I've actually got a tiny little lemon. I don't think I'll be squeezing it, imaging and tonic. But, um, so I'm hoping I can show you the transformation. My son said he'd come and help me, but I'm not the best, but I'm going to try. <laughs> so I thought if I showed you before, and I've got a little herb garden down there as well, so I think, you know, I'm just avoiding doing the work. So, here we go get the ivy out of the box but I don't know what to string it on to my son said he'll get me is it fishing wire but it's not materialized and but I keep thinking the summer will be over by the time I get it I'd just rather sit out here with gin and tonic really but um I bought all this stuff I've got to use it so on we go back to work I'll show you the finished effect soon well I'm back shower changed gonna go out onto the balcony but I thought I want to show you something I bought in the charity shop. 10,000 tips on how to do almost anything. And the amazing things. Cool things to do in San Francisco. No more wrinkles. How to pack perfectly. Time for school exams. Deal with bullying. They're, everyone should be given this book when they're born. Negotiate a pay rise. Bonding with a new baby, how to swim, improve your golf swing, how to meditate, oh my word, zapping spots, now that's a good one, Ugh. how to sew your clothes, put your makeup on, be a single parent, be a miracle mum, I need that, teach yourself how to talk properly, Best bedtime stories. Carve a scary butt pumpkin. What I'd like to know is, how long must it have taken, I know you've got to put this the other way around, to do this? There's so much in it. So perhaps daily, I'll give you a few tips. There's so much in it. Oh, oh my word, I've never seen anything like it. And do you know how much it was? 2 99 in shelter charity. You know, I'm addicted to charity shops, taking it in, but I'm not meant to bring anything back. So on the way back, I thought I'll look at a different one. And it was quite a swanky one in Chelsea. So I thought it'd be about £15. Two ninety nine. Ten thousand 10,000 tips on how to do almost anything. That's good, isn't it? It's a bargain. But as we go along, I'll read you the tips out and you might be able to learn anything. So that two ninety nine could go a long way. But anyway, back to the balcony. <laughs> 